Hi, I'm doing another question video because I feel like it and I don't really know other tarot things to do. Like they were really fun. Um, so I am looking on the brightful.me website for these questions and I'm just going to go through them until I'm bored of it. All right, so first question is, if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? No wishing for more wishes. Now, the first wish is I wish my mum would have her own self-acceptance and self-love and was able to, um, you know, just let go of the past and just take a more, take the present more seriously and just really start giving a fuck about her own life. Um, I don't know if that's already three wishes or if that's just one. If that's counting as one, my second wish would be, okay, I've accepted that there's changes at my workplace, which I may or may not make a vlog about, but I'm wishing that from now on that these changes that are being made are static and nothing else changes until I leave my workplace because I really want stability. Um, Third wish, I wish my cat would understand to that no one cares about her poop, you know, the whatever she's pooping, like because she's pooping outside of the box, so I wanted to understand that whoever she's trying to be dominant to they can't get inside and they like me and Charlie we we get it you live here it's your it's your shit box just shit in the box not outside of it just but then all right so if these wishes are like oh, you can't affect someone else's thing all right if it was just a thing of like, what do I want, which is just like, all right, we can't affect other people's things. We can't affect how your job's going to be, how a cat thinks. And if it was a terms of um, that kind of thing, I guess I have to change my wishes to just a material thing. Um, <clears throat> I wish for my car to be yeah <laughs> that'd be sick um I don't really need anything else everything else is kind of really yeah uh, two more items I wish for a game that is an RPG kind of thing Similar to WoW, but maybe I could play on the Switch. Yeah, that'd be cool. And... Uh, I don't really have a third wish. That isn't like okay. yeah I don't know I think I'm good for wishes okay the second question is really what would you rather throw away love or money well we kind of need money to survive in this world and one can love themselves, so.
I'm not sure what can be done if, say, I'm just with a person. Is and none of us have money, like, say, okay, we don't, we don't have bank accounts, we don't have anything, um, in this world, it's not really, yeah, worth, I guess, for me. Unless somehow, like, when you work, you're given, say, well, groceries isn't the main thing of what I spend money on, so it's kind of really stupid. You have to change the whole world, like, if no one had money, so if money wasn't a thing, it's not just me fucking off money, if it was the whole world fucking off money, I'd rather do that and then we just like go back to bartering or just being allocated resources or something like that. Okay. What's the most beautiful place you've ever seen? Um, so place that I've physically seen myself would have to be the sort of gardens at the Neuschwanstein in Germany, um, that also like Germany in general is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the gardens there are really, they just had a really nice feel to them. And it was just like, even on a say, dark grey day they still just would feel nice to look at and just feel really comfortable um as for places I haven't visited I like sort of um you know the Asian-ish temples and things like where there's like ponds or waterfalls or like sakura flowers or I guess that's generally Japan um, so yeah, <sighs> fondest memory of high school, Jesus fucking Christ, <sighs> yeah, um, I guess there are probably a few. Um, uh, one that sticks in my head the most. Well, I guess I might talk about a few of them. Um, so during the exam time is in VCE. Um, I got to hang out with this girl Elise and like so we but prior to that I'd only known her from clarinet lessons and I didn't really know her outside of that like she was in my maths methods class but like I didn't really know her that well like she was in the friends group and but like I got to spend some time just with her and it was just really yeah she was just really funny and interesting and um that there was like a funny incident with lettuce I think she had a lettuce in her sandwich and it got either stuck in her teeth or throat Anyway, lettuce got stuck somewhere where it shouldn't have gone, and then it was just the joke of the day, and I still remember that, so I guess that's probably the fondest memory of high school. Um, yeah. 
Uh, favourite TV show? Well, I've probably mentioned this already, that I'm more of a YouTube person. I do enjoy watching Good Mythical Morning, say, with, like, dinner or something. Um, obviously, when Dan and Phil did shows together, that was my show of choice. Also, Jenna Marbles. Uh, community channel um, um, like I don't mind occasionally watching like um, you know weird games I've never heard of or that look funny from like you know Jacksepticeye or Markiplier but th they're certainly not my favorite um, You know, I do just check in with, like, basically any sort of interest that I have, whether it's, like, tarot or astrology or, uh, you know, psychology-related videos. Um, they're quite fun for me. Would you rather hear the music of Johann Sebastian Bach played by a barbershop quartet or a heavy metal band? I think a heavy metal band would sound pretty sweet. I feel like it's been done before though, so yeah, I'd rather listen to that. Have I ever been to a five star resort? I'm not really sure. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe it wasn't five star, but I've definitely been to nice places. Um. Just trying to think. But none come to mind, so maybe not. <sighs> Favourite toy growing up. I still have him. Come with me. I'll show you. There he is, little fucker. My brother made this for me. Or maybe not for me, but he made it for his textiles class. It just happened to be finished. Um, a week before I was born, so, uh, I guess. Yeah. He's got a bit of a old age damage, but he's still pretty cool. What talent would you possess if you could? Well, not necessarily talent, but I'd like to be less sensitive to change and, like, loud sounds or... Basically, I just want my sensory um, problems to fuck off and, yeah, I don't... Um, because... The physical uh, effects that it has on my body is not fun. Um, but I guess if it was a, if I'm not allowed to choose that, well, sensory processing disorder sucks too. Um, and also just like having a shitty memory um uh, talent possess neurotypicality not really i do like traits of my aspies and adhd like yeah but i wouldn't fully give it up uh, See, all the talents I can think of are just, like, things that I have trouble with because of, like, um, you know, sensory processing disorders and things like that, or visual processing disorders. Like, I wish I could, like, watch people, like, that, like, in a dance class and just be able to do it and not kind of, go, like, have need to have to break it down so much to really understand what is going on. Uh, 
I guess that'll, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's a talent talent that I really want. Um, that can't be like learned. Like I'd like to learn how to um, like properly say just do like um, different types of shading techniques in art and like mixing colors and just like techniques and like what each brush it like I know I could easily look that up myself and like do like tutorials online but I just haven't haven't been asked <laughs> so yeah I don't know I feel like all talents can be learnt through practice and stuff and I just don't have the bother to really <sighs> I don't know I think I think I'm done with this yeah um see you next time I post I uh yeah I guess the next set of videos will be the um tarot key tarot cards for February that always takes a bit of time to do so I'll probably start that in about two weeks as for what I'll record next week if I do or not I don't know Bye for now.